Solving inequalities is exactly the same as solving equalities. Um, so, you know, if you had something like this, if you had 2x equals 6, you would just divide both sides by 2, everyone's happy, totally easy, right? And your answer would be x equals, oh, excuse me, divide both sides by 2, and then your answer is 3. So, so when you have equalities and you're, and you're doing nor normal algebra, it's super easy. But inequalities, people think it's like suspiciously difficult, it's not. So if you have something like this, like, um, you know, 2x is greater than 6, you do the same steps exactly, just pretend like that's an equal sign. Oh, okay, no problem, divide by 2, divide by 2, x is greater than 3. So I mostly tell people when you're dealing with inequalities, just treat it exactly like a normal equal sign and don't do anything different, and the sign carries down. There's one huge, like, caveat. There's one huge exception, and this is it. Okay, so if you ever divide by a negative, be careful because there is a problem there. So if you have, again, negative 5x is greater than 25, now obviously to get x alone, you're going to divide both sides by a negative 5. Anytime you divide by a negative number, <coughs> anytime you divide by a negative number, this sign flips, right? And so you have x is less than, now it used to be greater than, now it's less than negative 5. That's the only difference. I mean, I don't care if it's two-step equations, three-step equations. If it's two-step or three-step inequalities, again, it's totally identical to a normal equal sign. So I'll give one more example. So let's say you had like whatever, you know, 2x minus 6 is less than uh, 12, right? Same thing, plus 6, plus 6, you have 2x less than 18. Divide by 2, divide by 2, x is less than 9. Again, if that was a negative 2 and we divided by negative 2, we'd flip the sign. But as long as that uh, is a positive and you're dividing by a positive, it's no different than an equals. And remember, if you're having a hard time with this at your local high school, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School and the credits will be transferred back to your school.